Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to Granny B's house. Are you having a good day? Oh, I hope so. Granny B's having a pretty good day. Are you remembering to be kind to those people around you? Are you doing little things to make the world a better place? Well, you know, if you make the world a better place for other people, it makes the world a better place for you, too. So let's try to remember little things we can do to make the world better for everyone. Well, you know, it's a transition time. I want you to pretend with me. Pretend you're, oh, maybe two years old and it's time to move out of your, maybe you're already out of your crib, but maybe you're in a toddler bed and it's time to move into your big boy bed, your big girl bed, all by yourself. Remember how scary that was? Well, this little guy is about to find out what it's like to sleep in a really big bed. How will I ever sleep in this bed is written by Della Ross Ferrari, illustrated by Capucine Mazil. So let's look at her pretty pictures and Granny B will try to find out what he's gonna do to make it easier to sleep in that big bed. Okay, here we go. I'm big enough now for a bed of my own, but this bed is enormous and I feel all alone. I search for my friends in the yellow toy box. Oh, look, here's my rabbit, my skunk, and my fox. I stand on my tiptoes and reach for my dogs. Oh, and down come my turtles, my fish, and my frogs. I peek in my closet. Is anyone there? Oh, good. I see two kangaroos and a bear. I tuck in my tiger. I cover my sheep. I tell all my animals, now go to sleep. A hug for my, for my hippo. A kiss for my cow. I guess I can try to squeeze in here somehow. With frogs at my feet and a horse on my head. Oh, how will I ever sleep in this bed? Move over, monkey. Fly away, bee. I love all of you, but I need room for me. So please, Mr. Moose and Blue Dinosaur, you guys are so big. Can you sleep on the floor? I pull up my blanket and wiggle in tight. Now I feel warm and snuggly and sleepy. Good night. <laughs> I guess he figured out how he could sleep in that big bed. He just had to invite some friends along. And isn't it so much fun, no matter what we're doing, it's more fun when we invite our friends along, isn't it? So let's remember to be kind to our friends and to those who might become our friends someday. And all the time we're thinking about what we can do to make the world a better place. And just think all those friends that made his night better, even though they were stuffed animals, they all worked together to make him feel comfortable in his new big bed. So why don't we work together to make other people around us more comfortable? So maybe you're in a new classroom this year. Maybe you're in a whole new school. And maybe you just have a new teacher, a new bus driver, a new custodian. Let's all make them our friends, okay? And that'll make our world such a better place. 
And if you make them feel welcome too, it'll make their world a better place. So as we go into this school year, let's just remember to be kind and do little things to make the world a better place. And it'll be a better place for us too. So you remember, Granny B loves you. And I want you to come back soon so I can read you another story. And maybe it won't be quite so silly. Bye-bye now.